All right, welcome back everyone. This is JFace Games. And what we've been doing is going through the building of an RPG. First, we started with looking at a bunch of RPGs that have influenced me and that I think are really cool and that have ideas that we might be able to rip off or borrow from or, or be just inspired by. <clears throat> and now we've actually started building the system. So last time we talked about roles and backgrounds and we had a cool idea for how we're going to do roles and backgrounds. And we had a little bit of a hint of what I'd like to do in terms of a um, uh, the dice mechanics, the core dice mechanics. But things have changed since the last time I was on here. Before we talked about a d20 system. Now I've gone back to stunt dice. So the current iteration is sort of a hybrid between the age system, the stunt dice system, and then the Cortex Prime system. So if you remember the Cortex Prime system, what, well, what the age system does is it's 3d6, you roll those, one of those dice is the stunt die, um, you roll the 3d6, you add them up, and it gives you an idea of um, th either 3 to 18, and it's sort of a parabola it's in terms of um, uh, probability, like which number you're gonna roll. You're pretty much gonna roll 11s for the most part, like in that mid-range, because it's, you know, three is very low chance, 11, 10, 12, that sort of area. And then 18 is very hard to roll. Um, but what happens is, is that if you roll doubles on any dice, um, any of the three dice ends up being a double, then you quote unquote stunt. And then you get X amount of stunt points for this stunt die. So if I were to roll three dice, just as a recap, I think I have 3d6 here, I do. Say these are my 3d6 right the red one is the stunt die there we go if i were to roll a this i have doubles and i also have stunt or i have doubles so therefore i would get two stunt points now the problem is is that if i rolled this i would get a six eight total and if the dc was a 10 that means i failed you know i failed the dc so i wouldn't get any stunt points which i don't like that idea I like the idea of you get stunt points no matter what, and maybe you just have abilities that are defensive abilities. And so you're going to use your stunt points no matter what, um, but we'll have a limited option list of what stunt points you have. You'll have feats that get you different stunts as you level or as you progress, and therefore you might have like shield block, you know? So in that scenario, maybe shield block costs me two stunt points. So now I stunted, but I missed, so I can take those stunt points and instead say, I'm gonna put them in my defense. Or maybe I hit, maybe the DC was eight, but instead of using those stunt points offensively, I still could say, you know, I'm gonna use these stunt points defensively. So there's some flexibility. So there's some flexibility in how you use them, but we'll make sure that we limit the amount that a person has. So it's not just complete paralysis of analysis. So that's stunt dice. Cortex Prime, you gather up a dice pool and you roll that dice pool, but then once you've rolled, you can choose which dice you're going to add up and you can only choose two of them, right? So if you combine those two concepts, you end up having, I'm gonna use 3d6 as my total, and one of them's my stunt die, but maybe I could roll 5d6, you know? I roll 5d6, one's the stunt die, I'm rolling four other dice, I choose two of these plus the stunt die, and now what's my DC, right? So now you have this certain abilities, certain items, certain choices you make are going to allow you to roll that. Well, the problem with that is obviously statistically, what the hell does that mean? What's gonna happen? Well, that's where I started going down a rabbit hole. This is a very math heavy, statistics heavy video. Um, I'm not a statistics junkie in the sense that I know what the hell's going on, but I could read a couple graphs. So I started trying to figure out how do I do this? And there's this great website called AnyDice that allows you to do statistics. And so I understood this is what the age system does. This is what's easy, hard. Uh, this is what difficulties are, they typically say. And I'm not gonna read these graphs. In essence, what I started to do was say, what's going on? I went to this great website called um, RPG Stack Exchange, and I posed a question. So I'm gonna give a shout out to a couple people. One, I posed this question, and first, some guy, this dude, Medix2, 
he rewrote my question to make it more legible. So straight up awesome for that guy. He, he edited this to make it more legible. But then this dude here, right here, he answered the question perfectly. And he gave me the, all of the statistic analysis of what this question meant. What happens when I can roll multiple D6? Not just what happens when I roll multiple D6, because say I roll five D6, this one's the stunt die. But the issue is I'm not gonna just take the highest two because say I rolled a four, a five, and a six, and another five, I need the algorithm to say, I could make the DC with any three of these, but I wanna have the two fives because I wanna stunt and get the four stunt points. So he did the math on this and he came up with this equation. So I, I don't know what this means. I honestly don't know how to, to <laughs> code this. But after he gave me the equation, I was able to change the DC value and then break down the statistics that it shows in order to come up with this chart, series of charts, right? So this is awesome. So now I can look at this and I can say, well, what does this mean? So this is normal. This is normal age system, right? This is the idea that I have 3D6, one of them's a stunt die. What happens if the target number is between three and 18? What's my chances of hitting that target number? What's my chances of getting any sort of stump points? And then what's the average stump points that I'm gonna get, right? This is normal, this is normal age system. So if you're playing Fantasy's Age, Dragon Age. The other thing I wanted to know is what are the percent chance I'm going to roll a one on any dice, right? So this is if I roll one, one, there's a 42% chance I'm gonna get a one. There's a 7% chance I'm gonna get two ones. The reason I wanted this is because I wanted this system to have, once again, we talked about it, so the core tenets being risk reward, right? So the idea here is that, yes, you can get 66 and roll them all, and you're gonna have a higher chance of getting stunts and getting the DC, but every one you roll, regardless of if you're choosing those dice to use or not, every one you roll, is going to be bad. This is in Cortex Prime a little bit too. I forget what they call them, but for me, that's gonna be things that then power up the enemy or charge up the enemy in some way. The DM is going to use those ones in some sort of fashion, right? Against you, obviously, or it's gonna be a pool or something. So now what we do is we have this. If we go down, this is what happens if, what if I roll four dice? Three that I'm gonna choose two from, so drop one and then the stunt die. But you can see here, what's the target number? What's my chance of succeeding at actually getting to that target number? What's my chance of stunting? If I hit that DC, what's the stunt point? What's the chance of rolling a one? So now we have data. Now we can figure out, you know, is this a viable system? Do we think this is a cool idea? I mean, look here, if I roll 66, say there's a, a stunt or an ability that I have that allows me to do this, where I'm rolling, in essence, 76, and I'm dropping X amount of them, but I'm still adding the stunt die, my chance of succeeding, really high. You can see in here, there's some areas where the DC gets still a little tricky to hit, but my chance of succeeding super high, my chance of stunting super high, but I've got a 72% chance of getting at least one one, I've got a 33% chance of getting two. So that's a, that could be really bad, right? So I like this idea. I like this idea of now we have a risk reward system. We have the math behind um, what's the probability of succeeding on these. And the nice thing is that if you look at these DCs, the DC, even if I have this, even if I have five D6 that I'm rolling plus the stunt die, to get an 18 DC is still stupid hard, right? So there's a nice little challenge rating here in this area. So now the idea of maybe I don't need pluses, you know, maybe, maybe this is a system already that I don't need to say that you're getting a proficiency bonus of plus one. Like, you know how um, Pathfinder every level, because you add your level to your ability to hit and the same thing with 13 age, you, a part of your attack and a part of your damage is plus your level which means that the DC has to get tougher as the enemies, as you're leveling the, the DC to hit, the armor class for enemies has to also get tougher 
etc. Well, that's nice in a D20 system because you can always quickly do the math. You know, every every number is a 5% chance of hitting. And so you can quickly add up, okay, you know, 10%, 20%, what's the chance of hitting someone? If it's a 15 or higher, that's a 25% chance, whatever the case is. Um, or it's a 25% chance to hit a 16 or higher. You know, great, I've got it, I've got an idea. And if I just give them a plus one, but I give the monster a plus one, it, it shifts the same thing. In this kind of system, it's harder to do that. I mean, once you, because it's more of a parabola, not a straight across, um, it becomes harder to be able to, you know, make those adjustments on the fly. But the fact that you could just have these D6s, and the nice thing is that you just, instead of giving people flat abilities, you just build more interesting stunts, or I, I haven't come up with the term I want to use, but stunts or feats, you just come up with more interesting stunts or feats that are going to add flavor to what's happening, right? So maybe it's something like, um, I might have had an example on here. Let me see if I got, nope, didn't write any example ones yet. But say it's something like, um, I'm going to do a reckless attack. That reckless attack allows me to have um, 46 plus the 1d6. I'm going to drop two, so my chance of hitting is higher. My chance of stunting is higher. Um, maybe it's maybe it gives me a plus one to hit, or maybe it just gives me plus two to damage or something. But maybe it gives me an auto one, right? So I'm automatically rolling, like I'm automatically giving the DC by but the DM by choosing that one one. And then I have a 60% chance of giving them a second one. I have a 20% chance of that DM getting three ones off of that reckless attack. Maybe something like that. Or maybe something where it's like, I do a precise attack. And that precise attack is 3d6 drop one. And I'm going to subtract a one if I roll it. You know, something quick like that. You know, something simple. I like this idea. I, I think that you can do a lot of cool stuff with stunt. Now, I think that one of the problems people have with stunt dice is the paralysis analysis. And because if you've ever played Fantasy Age or something, there's a laundry list of sort of things that stunts can do. And I think that if you have a feat system where maybe there's one basic stunt for offensive, one basic stunt for defensive, one basic stunt for magic, and that's just base. And then as you're gaining skills, feats, stunts, whatever you're gonna call them, those themselves have stunt point uses. And so your list of stunt points is, or your list of stunt options is gonna grow as you're leveling and progressing. But on top of that, you don't have to, ha I mean, you can see here that the average stunt point, the mean is in this range. So you could just very easily tailor things that this costs two stunt points or this costs four stunt points. So you can quickly say, look, if the DC is 10 or higher, the chances of them getting a four with this is really good. So I'm just gonna make it a four stunt point ability or a three stunt point ability or whatever the case might be. So I really like this concept. I really need you guys, those of you who are subscribing and watching these, um, if you're more math inclined, I'd love for you to check this out. Um, I'll put a little link to this. I'll share a link to this so you can see it and you can look at the numbers and kind of give me your thoughts. I'd love to hear them. All right, guys, y'all have a good one. Subscribe. Um, hit the notification bell and tune in next time. I have no idea which what we're going into next on the next video. This has definitely consumed my brain currently. Uh, maybe we'll start building out a couple different um, stunt concepts and we'll see where we go from there.